Today we're serving the community as we do every Thursday and every Monday. We have a team of 25 volunteers. They're very dedicated and they've been with us for the last eight years. We provide hot meals, food parcels or chill meals or sandwiches. The Hazel Grove Estate was built in the early 1960s, starting with the big tall block and they gradually worked their way around to the main road. The Ray Champion Room was named after a caretaker. When he passed away, the people on the estate, they got together with the council and asked for it to be named the Ray Champion Room. We can't use the room because of COVID and we have a soup kitchen, which is badly needed on the estate. We were told that Lusheng Home had a community room, the Ray Champion Room, and due to the COVID and restrictions, the room was not being utilised. We are working with Lusham Homes and a lot of our sponsors to provide and make a way for people who are finding it very difficult at this time. We're out here trying to bring people together. Today I will be distributing for those people that are unable to come out and pick up for themselves. I formed a few relationships with people that I didn't even know lived <laughs> so close to me. Hiya, how are you? Alright. Our charity is called Rehoboth Community Outreach. Rehoboth is taken from the Bible in the book of Genesis. It means the Lord will make a way. To volunteer just makes me feel good about myself because I'm helping out. When I wasn't able to get out, a lot of people helped me as well. I know hunger because my mom basically raised four kids by herself. I remember going to bed with just porridge and bread. What little she had to give us, I saw her sharing and giving to her neighbours. So I kind of basically mimic my mom. I just mimic what I see her doing. If we can stand in the gap where the food insecurity bits are, I think, yeah, we're trying to help as much as we can.